Everyone has that guy in their golf group who just can't hit the driver and spends an entire round playing three wood or iron off the tee. If you're that guy, Steve Latimer is the one you need to see. The head pro at Genesee Valley has one of the sweetest driver swings and our Western New York PGA tip of the week. The reason why people have trouble with the driver is because they're trying to make this go super far. It's already 45 inches long with very little loft, so the natural swing with the 7-iron is going to produce the results that you want to get. The biggest mistake I see from people is when they overswing, they tend to have an outside to inside target path, which creates the ball that starts straight and curves. Ideally, we're swinging it down the target line. If you see, we've got this bucket right here. This is just a small example. You could use a box, hopefully something soft that's not going to hurt. And if you can get used to swinging from the inside, you're never going to hit the bucket, and that ball is going to go down the target line. I like to play my ball right about the left heel, but the common flaw I see is that ball getting way far forward. And we talked about that outside to in pass. That's really easy to happen when that ball's really far forward. A lot of people, they'll come to the driving range, and they're only going to bring their driver. I will not hit more than three or four drivers in a row. I want to maintain that super rhythm that I have with the 7-iron, so I will take a driver swing. If I don't like it, I'm going to take a 7-iron. I'm going to take a wedge. I'm going to take something different that produces a different shot and then trying to produce the same speed, the same effort that I put on the 7-iron that I did with the driver. Latimer has another piece of advice about hitting the driver like a pitcher pushing off a rubber in a baseball game. You can find those informations and a lot more knowledge from Mr. Latimer at rochesterfirst.com.